Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The WBA has delivered again, never failing to disappoint with a rankings clangor, inserting Mark DeMori, the Australian heavyweight who's had one fight in two years, that fight coming against a 20 loss journeyman, into the rankings at number 10 this month. So make of that what you will. And the question now is, who was he fighting? Because He's being inserted here. He's going to be fed to someone. That's just how it is. He has not earned this on merit. Question being, who is it? So there's probably three or four options to talk through in regards to a Demori opponent. I mean, the most obvious, I think, at the top of the rankings, Daniel Dubois. So he is the interim champion, as it were, having defeated Bogdan Dinu. Dinu, another guy who was inserted into the rankings, ultimately fed to Dubois. So this could be history repeating. And the fact Demori is coming in at the time where, in a couple of days, Daniel Dubois has an announcement for his next fight, the timing would seemingly work, but there has been some talk that Daniel Dubois will fight Trevor Bryan. So whether it is Dubois, unclear, but I think it's a strong possibility that he could be. And in terms of Daniel Dubois and his rebuild, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Mark Demori will get knocked out in a round or two. And if Daniel Dubois ends up being on one of these YouTuber undercards in the United States, well, that will be some profile for him getting a devastating knockout. Maybe get some eyeballs turned in his direction because he's got to do his talking in the ring because he doesn't really promote himself outside of it. So Daniel Dubois, Mark Demori, if it's made, terrible fight. But obviously, when you step back and go, Daniel Dubois coming off a year ago, that loss to Joe Joyce, he's rebuilt or starting the rebuild with that Bogdan Dinu fight, another guy inserted into the WBA, and then potentially a Mark Demori. Well, yeah, it is what it is. It would be a bit of a joke of a fight, but I can understand why they would want to do it. And especially if they're effectively trying to make a showcase fight. Another guy that it could be who's you, you don't see him in this top 15 list, Trevor Bryan. So if there's no Daniel Dubois versus Trevor Bryan and it's not Dubois as the opponent for Demori, it could be Trevor Bryan. This would also fit his sort of uh, modus operandi in terms of a weak opponent, a weak defense. Him and Don King, his promoter, are going to cling to that belt like there is nothing else in this world that exists. Trevor Bryan could potentially end up holding that belt if he's not facing anyone with a pulse soon for some considerable time. So he's got the regular title at the moment. Formerly, he was the interim champion, managed to uh, get Mahmoud Char pushed to the side. And you never know, it could be Char as well versus Mark Demori, but it would seem more likely someone who's at least seemingly active at the moment. Daniel Dubois and Trevor Bryan, I mean, active where Bryan's concerns are always a bit of a relative term. Term He had th uh, two and a half years out before fighting Berman Stavern earlier this year. Would it seemingly be too soon? Because uh, Trevor Bryan's been so inactive in recent years. Has he had his not even annual fight? You know, has he just fought and this has got to be too short a gap for his next fight? Possibly. And that's a sad indictment on where his career has been and is at the moment. But if it is Demori, I wouldn't be surprised because it's a dreadful opponent that would fit with who he's been fighting. And I guess in terms of other options in the top 15 here. So um, number one to eight, there's no change in the rankings this month. I'll just sort of put that out there at the moment. We'll go through a little bit of rankings movement uh, towards the back end of this video. But other names potentially, Charles Martin there at number five. So he is training at the moment in a camp seemingly no fight on the horizon there's no fight date for charles martin so in camp maybe demori is being lined up to be fed to charles martin and he has sort of dropped down to this level before he fought daniel martz what a year or two ago that was a tick over sort of tune up type fight maybe this will happen again maybe it is going to be charles martin that uh, they haven't been able to secure the sorts of fights that he wants to be in so they just have to give him something some activity get him paid get him keep him active for something ultimately bigger to come later down the line maybe it is charles martin i think after the dubois option for me charles martin it's probably the sort of second you know on reflection thinking about this the option that it could be i think trevor bryan although this would fit with what he does 
I don't know if we'll see him again in 2021. Don King just doesn't really do many shows anymore. It's just kind of how it is. Um, looking at the rest of the names, when you look at them, either a lot of them have just fought, about to fight, or are injured or sick. Say Gerald Washington at number nine, he's got COVID-19. He was meant to be facing Michael Polite Coffey. Obviously, that didn't happen because he caught COVID. Maybe number 12, Frank Sanchez. That could be potentially an opponent for Mark DeMori, but... I wouldn't have thought so. I think that um, Frank Sanchez will appear on the next Canelo card, hopefully with a much better opponent than Mark DeMori. I mean, we've been waiting for a step up from Frank Sanchez to, to something a bit more meaningful. And this would be sort of, not a step down, but it would again sort of be in the disappointing category for, for an opponent. So you can't rule out Frank Sanchez because could happen. And generally what happens with the WBA when they do insert, you know, guys in there, sometimes like the Bogdan Dinu one, the guy who's the A side might actually be ranked below uh, the person who's been inserted in. So Frank Sanchez, he could certainly be one. It probably isn't going to be Zahn Kosobutsky who's got a fight coming up. Mike Wilson, he's um, about to fight um, Michael Hunter. This is recorded a couple of days out from their fight. Uh, Leonir Pero at the bottom there, probably not. Uh, but if I was to, to hazard a guess, Daniel Dubois, the timing would seemingly line up. He's inserted an announcement's coming in a couple of days for Dubois. And then they can say, look, he's defending his title against a ranked fighter, number 10, because you'd have to be ranked to be defending that interim um, status. So I think Dubois is my number one, maybe Charles Martin, number two, Frank Sanchez, number three, Trevor Bryan, number four. But apart from that, I'm struggling. I mean, I don't think Luis Ortiz or Andy Ruiz Jr. could get away with that. So, But you can't rule them out entirely. It's been talked that they're going to be fighting later this year. Hasn't been announced or properly sort of formalized or organized. So we'll see with those guys. But the rest of the top 15, a couple of uh, guys who've dropped out this month. Michael Polite Coffey, who had been in there, he's out he had been at number nine last month. Jonathan Rice comes in at number 11. That was a very good win for Rice. Career best win puts him in here at 11th spot. And the WBA didn't muck around. So these rankings came out immediately after that fight. So they must have been, you know, had their um, finger on the send button watching that fight. Uh, you also have um, FAA Jagba. He was at number 11 last month out of the rankings entirely. And it's not clear why, because it can't really be for inactivity because he fought earlier this year. So maybe there was not the passing of a brown envelope or something, but, you know, 11 to being out entirely, that is interesting. But what do you make of it all? Mark DeMori coming into the rankings, not on merit, clearly being fed to someone. Could it be Daniel Dubois? Could it be Charles Martin or other? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.